I'd like you to check with me John chapter 4. John chapter 4. I want to, by the help of the Lord, within the time we have this morning, I want us to um, open another window, another window in the matter that we have been joining in God with. And uh, I believe it's special to people who are here this morning. Amen. John chapter 4, verse 23 and 24. But the hour cometh and now is when the true worshippers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. God is a spirit. And they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Hmm? Did you did you get that? I I'd like us to discuss uh, briefly this morning. still connected to our team. We are not veering off from our team. We are just, it's just that the windows around it is too much. We are trying to open as many as we can. Eyes. Eyes for the invisible. Eyes for the invisible. Eyes, eyes, having eyes for the invisible. I'm going to read some scriptures. As I'm reading them, I'll be giving you some important clue that you need to note before we arrive at the point where we will take the major uh, lesson that we needed to take. <clears throat> Having eyes or eyes for what? The invisible. God is a spirit. From whence cometh my help? My help cometh from the Lord who made heaven and earth. The Lord. The Lord. From whom our help comes. Is a spirit. Is that clear? How do I assess? How do I know? How do I lay hands on him and on what he has to give? Oh, are you following me once more? God, Jesus said, is a spirit. And that's why the Samaritan woman stood in front of him and was talking about the Messiah. Who will come to help them? You know, she told Jesus and said, I know. Is that clear? That the Messiah is coming. But that knowledge is not complete. I know. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. I know. Stop talking. I know that the Messiah is coming. When he comes, he will help us. 
Can I say, you see, this knowledge is not complete. I that speaks to you. If we will not miss our help and even our helper, there is something we need. What is that? Eyes that can do what? See the invisible. That's a long one. I don't know whether you are beginning to follow me small, small. The problem you have and I have, the problem and the challenge we have is that the Lord we are dealing with is a spirit. And Jesus said it very clearly. God will not, he will not, how do I put it? God has adjusted to the highest point he can. He can't go beyond that. They that worship him and follow him must also be spirit. They must do so in spirit, in spirit, in spirit. You must catch what I'm saying this morning. You have to catch it. The other time Jesus was speaking, he said, I weep for you, Jerusalem. I weep for you. He said, because thou knowest not the day of thy visitation. Why? The help and the helper is purely spiritual. If you do not have eyes for the spirit, for the invisible, the, one of the greatest lessons that Jesus was conveying or is conveying in John 4, 24, when he said, God is a spirit. What was he targeting to pass by? He, he started telling the woman because she was so careful about the mountain where the fathers came to pray. And Jacob, the well that Jacob drank. So careful about what she could see, what she could touch, that she didn't know when, when he that dug that well was standing in front of her. So Jesus began to speak to her and said, God is a spirit. He's invisible. He's beyond what you can touch, see here. He's beyond nature. He's not nature. He's beyond it. They that can and will follow him, worship him, must. He's a must. So men and brethren, before I leave this point. How do we interpret a woman who is in need of help and standing in front of her was the helper? And she was quoting the well of Jacob for Jesus. You see, I'm taking this thing small, small because if you don't understand it, you may miss your visitation. How do we define a woman who is in need of the water of life and he's standing in front of her? Now, let me ask you a question. If you were the one, if you were that woman, would you have found out? 
I want you to look at that scenario. Tell me. If you were that woman, do you think you would have found that? I can't hear you. Yes or no? No. Why did you say no? Eh? Sir? There was nothing about him that suggested who he was. You are not understanding what I'm teaching you this morning. Some people are still confused. If you are confused, say amen. Nobody, you are confused. <laughs> Ma? And you are confused. I saw it in your face. <laughs> hey. Having eyes for the invisible. John 4 24, Jesus said, God is a spirit. If you look at the discussion he was having with the Samaritan woman, you may wonder why that verse came in. And they that worship him must do so. How? In spirit. In spirit. Now, if you remember our team carefully, I went back a little so that this mom can follow us. If you remember our team carefully, ma, I look up to the hills from whence cometh my help. What is the answer? My help cometh from the Lord. Now, that Lord is a spirit. If you will not miss his activities, his actions, his pattern, his way, when he's walking by, if time permit me, I will show you some people who nearly, nearly, the help they were looking for passed them. They didn't see it. Why? He's a spirit. He's invisible. And they that must worship him must do so in spirit. I'm laying a foundation. Follow it. Are, are you following it now? Are, are you following it now, ma? So, I, came, I come back again. Let me come back again. I went back and I said, Jesus said to the Samaritan woman, if thou knowest, it's just that you don't have eyes for the visible. He said to her, if thou knowest him in front of you, you would have turned around when I asked you for water and asked me to give you the living water. Jesus came to John the Baptist and said, baptize me. John said, mm -mm. I have need to be baptized of you. Why did he say that? He saw. He, he knew he would, would that. He knew. He said to the people that were listening, he said, listen, listen, all of you. And I'm not sure. If you look at the people that responded, only two people. I'm, I'm not very sure that others caught it. He said to the people that were listening, he said, this is he of whom I speak. He was wearing sandals and one long robe. That's how he was. Our helper is a spirit. He is the invisible. And even the way he walks and the way he behaves and the way he carries out some things, you have to be spiritual to detect it. I, I wait for now. And what I am calling having eyes for the invisible simply means spiritual. Eyes that can see the invisible. I will show you. I, having eye for the invisible. So, when the woman moved away from that, he said, give me this water that I may drink. You know she didn't mean it. I hope you know she didn't mean it. Talk to me. She was just trying to mock him. Eh? 
she thought he was making mouth. Her conclusion was that, ah, ah. See, somebody that came to this well without something to draw from, he's telling me that if I had known who he is, she queried him. He said, he said, he said, he said excuse me, are you greater than Jacob? Imagine. Imagine the query. I hope you know who, Jesus, who she was asking. The, Jesus stood up and said to the Jews, as, I, as I, was, I, was, I was reading my Bible this morning, I came across it again. Before Abraham, I am the big stone. They say, thunder fire you. Who were they talking to? God. So you can stone God if you can see. You can stone God. High fast, high fast. Who was at that time the head of all the Pharisees and Sadducees? He said something to the Jews and the Sanhedrin when they were fighting the apostles. You know what he said? He said, Men and brethren, let us allow these people, let them go on. This is how the other time one person like that rose and drew away some people after him. The other time another Egyptian rose and drew away. He said, This one has risen. He said, I have double mind. He said, Rather than us, we, we may be found to fight God. Last we fight God. He said, Let's allow this. If it is not God, it will soon dry up. The, you know what the Bible said? The Bible said that the man did not know he was prophesying. Being the high priest. Do you know that you can stone God? You can pick up a stone to stone God. And in your innocence, you have no idea that you are stoning God. Your helper. My help, oh, my help. Look at him here. He has come and you are with stone. <laughs> Do you know how many years Israel waited for the Messiah? Who was promised by Moses? He said, for the Lord God shall raise out of you one of thy brethren, one as I am. Who shall be faithful in all his house? Moses prophesied it. The Jews waited for it. When he came, they killed him. They killed him when he came. Until today, many of them are still, they are still waiting. Eyes for the invisible. Jerusalem. Oh, Jerusalem. When he was weeping, he said, how many times will I try to gather you as a mother hen gathers her cheek? He said, but you would not. I weep for you. He said, thou that killest thy prophet, thou knowest not the day of thy visitation. Pick this message. Anybody you love, give it to the person. Tell the person to pray for the eyes that can see the invisible. And how greater than our father Jacob, who dug this well and also drank from this well. Jesus said to her, Jacob and your fathers who drank this well, they are dead. The well that I shall give, anybody that drinks it, we will not die. It will be a, uh, yes, help me. What? A well, a river springing out from him. The woman said, He said, Give me, let me drink. She said, Go and call your husband. He said, Go and call your husband. She said, I have no husband. He said, thou has truly said it. Because you have lived with five men. None of them is your husband. The one, you, the one that is lying down on your bed now, that you went to fetch water for him to bath, is not your husband. Something in her, 
move. You know what she said? She said, it's like. <laughs> it's like you are a prophet. It's, it's like. Ah, spiritual blindness is terrible. What an insult. God, a prophet, is like. Not even prophet that like. He said, don't worry. Stop prophesying. I know that the Messiah is coming. Ah! Whereas the Messiah was standing here. Ah! There are things that when I see in my Bible, I am bothered. How do you read your own? walking down to Sodom. My Bible called them men. The Bible said and lo, Abraham lifted up his eyes from the tent door and saw three men. What did your Bible call them? Three spirits. Is it not three men? Three angels. Is that what your Bible called it? Three men. I don't know how Abraham saw that these were not men. But in their appearance, the word of God called them men. Abraham sprang up. That's the patriarch. He was the highest spiritual order at that point. As I Melchizedek, who had no origin, an embodiment of the priesthood that Christ will walk in. He was the highest spiritual order. And he ran and bowed. Some of his servants may be wondering, what is Oga doing? Those three young men, they just came, just looking, just young, you know? The appearance of angels, just three young men. And Oga with his gray hair and gray beard is bowing. He said, my lords, my lord, he said, don't pass. Please, corner. Let me, please, allow me. Let me prepare something for you. He ran, he fetched some kid. You know, they, they, they pre the way they prepare meal in the Bible is wonderful. They made cake, made butter, made cheese. Made, I don't know why our food is not like that again now. Yeah? If I visit people, I don't used to see this that kind of thing again. <laughs> they ran, fetched a kid from the uh, what is it called? From the flock. I ran to say, I said, quick, 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 quick. He told his young man, he said, dress it. He ran to quick, say, quick, bake cake, butter, cheese, put things in place now. Up fast. Sarah baked it. He brought it. Now listen to me. The Bible said he served it to them and stood why they ate. I said, no. Abraham saw something. When they finished eating, men and brethren, lo, it was messengers that carried the end of his barrenness. But they were not going to his house. They were just walking away. He saw it. My helper, oh, you are not seeing, you know. He will come and pass. I don't know why God behaves like that. Don't ask me. I don't know. It's just that I found out that that's how he behaves. He said, he said, deity is an oracle. He must be consulted. You must have to compel him. That's how deities behave. You have to consult him. When they finished, they said, where is Sarah? Direct question. I now said in my heart, why? So, when I come here for this thing, now when I keep face, if Abraham, <laughs> when I keep face, they go to Sodom. They go to Sodom. The secondary assignment. So, if Abraham had not lifted up his eyes 
I want that eyes. I want that eyes. I want that eyes. I am telling you, I need that eyes. This is a this is a world full of trouble. Amanda says, this is a place of commotion, wahala, up and down. Eh? And four children is four, four university of wahala. You have to defend each one, each human being and trouble. Twenty disciples is twenty universities of wahala. <laughs> 